Good evening everyone. So the next in my series of aquaponics basics is what additives can you put in the system that'll be safe for the fish and the plants? Um, and when do you put them in? Uh, so the previous video I did was checking the pH level of your system. If you find that your pH level is really low and you've got very acidic water, then there's a number of things you can do. You can stop feeding your fish for a couple of days and that will bring the pH level down. The other thing you can do is add garden lime to your system, not dolomite, garden lime. So it's got to be straight lime without any other additives or fertilizers. So make sure it's just garden lime. The other thing you can do is you can use sodium bicarbonate, but I don't see, or bicarb soda, but I don't see any great purpose for that. Or you can use this is a specific brand, Eco Rose, but it's a potassium bicarbonate. So, I don't know if that's, that's not focusing, is it? So it's a potassium bicarbonate. This is a particular brand that we have in Australia, but it is a little bit hard to get a hold of. It's actually for the control of powdery mildew and black spot on roses and rust in geraniums and in the home garden. But it helps to buffer the pH. Um, the other thing you can do is you can put eggshells in your system. Now what I've seen done in the past is people actually put eggshells into a stocking and then they will bury that stocking in their grow bed. Um, so that is one option. The other thing you can do is oyster shells. And again, they've done a similar thing. They've put oyster shells into a stocking and just stuck the stocking into the actual fish tank or the sump. Uh, so that's for how to bring your pH down, or no, to raise your pH up. Because in an aquaponic system, your system will naturally get more acidic over time. So you need to be able to bring it back to a more alkaline system. Ideally, you want to aim for about seven. My systems rarely run at seven. <laughs> but uh, the other thing, other problem you'll sometimes have is if you notice yellowing in the leaves, which I got a little bit on that one, but not a huge amount is you can use an iron chelate. Uh, this one's a Searles iron chelate. As you can see, it's a very old bottle, so I don't use it very often. Um, usually I haven't had to actually put too much nutrients into my system at all. Um, so the iron chelate, you just put a couple of teaspoons down in one of the downpipes, in one of the, down one of the, you take the bell siphon out, stick it into the downpipe and then go from there. Um, but you only do like half a teaspoon, if that, at a time because you do not want to put too much in at once and shock the fish. Um, at the moment, obviously, I haven't got fish in the system, so I don't need to worry about that. But I also don't need to worry about putting any iron in my system at the moment either. Sorry, I've got a lot of mosquitoes around here at the moment. <laughs> There's no fish in my water. Um, now, the other thing, and what I'm doing at the moment, because I have no fish, is I'm using sea salt. But you could use any kind of commercial seaweed concentrate um, and that just helps to put the nutrients into the system and get the cycle cycling. <laughs> so yeah, so there's a natural cycle in an aquaponic system where the fish produce the ammonia, the ammonia gets turned into nitrite by the bacteria and then nitrate by another lot of bacteria and then the plants take up the nitrate. Um, I've gone into more detail in that in another video in this basic system which I will put a link up there um, so yeah the other thing you can do is you can put some worm wing in there or worm juice but again you don't want to put a huge amount in the system at once just put little bits in if you've got fish in the system if you don't have fish it's not a huge drama you can put more in so I'm going to about to go get some worm juice and put some worm juice in here as well so that's that's basically it though that's that's really all the additives that you need to use at least that I've ever used over the eight years that I've been having an aquaponic system. And I'm not saying I haven't had problems, because I have. <laughs> There's always challenges. But that's what happens when you've got any livestock or any gardens. It's always a problem of some sort. And I'll go into more details in future videos as the opportunities present themselves. But yeah, that's the aquaponic system. I hope you found that helpful and informative. Um, and yeah, have a great one. Bless you.